Hi and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be reviewing a few of the Harper Teen December releases. So the books that I'm going to be reviewing today are Top 10 Clues You're Clueless by Liz Zoukas, No Place to Fall by J. Robin Brown, and Love and Other Theories by Alexis Bass. So Harper Teen was nice enough to send me all of these books for review, so thank you to them for sending me these books. So now I am going to get started. The first book that I'm going to be talking about is Love and Other Theories by Alexis Bass. This book is about a group of girls who kind of swear off having boyfriends in their senior year of high school, except our main character kind of has trouble with this rule when a hot new guy comes into town. Now, this book was very interesting. For the majority of the book, I was not a huge fan of it. I thought the characters were all a little bit vapid and full of themselves. But by the end of the book, I thought this book had a fantastic ending. It was really great with self-discovery and kind of placing boyfriends where they should be in girls' lives, and I thought that was a very interesting aspect of the book. However, I was not the biggest fan of this book's plot for the majority of the book, the messages that it was sending, I was not really a fan of. I wasn't really a fan of the whole, oh, get as many guys as possible and how many guys you have interested in you is kind of a measure of how important you are. I wasn't really a fan of that, although this book wasn't bad overall and I gave it two out of five stars. Next book I'm going to be talking about is Top 10 Clues You're Clueless by Liz Zoukas. This book is pitched as kind of a Christmas version of The Breakfast Club and I felt like that was a pretty decent description. This is about a girl that works on a supermarket and on Christmas Eve thousands of dollars are steal stolen from this grocery store and the main character and a bunch of other kids are kind of trapped in the store and have to prove that they are innocent. Now this was a very cute concept and I really liked the Christmassy feel of it. However, the actual breakfast club part of the book wasn't really introduced until about the last 100 pages and I felt like the characters all hated each other and then really quickly they went from hating each other to being best friends and I was not I didn't really like that that much although if you like the breakfast club or a breakfast club version of Christmas then I would definitely suggest checking out this book and the last book I'm going to be talking about is No Place to Fall by J. Robin Brown. This is actually the book that I requested from Harper Teen, and they were nice enough to send me these other books. This book is about a girl that lives in a small town, and her dream is to become a musician and get out of her town. However, there are some things standing in her way. Her sister is married to kind of a deadbeat husband, and her family doesn't really have a lot of money. Now, this book was actually pitched as The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson meets This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen, and those are two of my favorite books. So I was really interested in this, and I thought the summary sounded good. However, my issue with it was that I don't think the summary of the book is at all anything like what the book is about. The summary on the back is, the first sentence is, Amber Vaughn is a good girl. And I think the main character spends a majority of this book hooking up with a bunch of different guys or pretending that she's interested in them and she also does a lot of drugs and drinks on occasion and personally that's not something I really enjoy reading about. It kind of makes me uncomfortable so I wish I had a little bit more warning about that and also I felt like the ending of this book kind of did a completely 180 on all of the character development. I felt like by the end of the book this main character was very well developed and she made some really good decisions that kind of reversed what she did in the beginning of the book and then at the end she kind of just throws all of her character development out the window and makes what I thought was a poor life choice. Although I don't know if other people would like this book or not. I just think my main issue with it is it was completely not what I expected and I think if this book had a more true to the plot summary, I probably would have gone into it being more prepared. So thank you again to Harper Teen for sending me these three books for review. I hope you guys enjoyed my reviews. If you have any questions about any of these books, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again soon.